The focus of treatment for stiff person syndrome usually involves GABAergic agonist uh, medications like Valium and also immunomodulating medicines and immunosuppressant medicines like IVIG, rituximab, CELSEP. Uh, however, there are a number of other therapeutic interventions that uh, one could get for stiff person syndrome that can help with their disability and their symptoms, including botulinum toxin. So often uh, we will give actually Botox to patients with stiff person syndrome, um, especially when they have uh, difficulties with uh, spasticity or tightness within an extremity. Um, also, we will give actually Botox within the paraarterial muscles, which is interesting in and of itself, um, but it helps with some of the rigidity and the spasms that uh, our patients can suffer with. Uh, the non-pharmacological interventions, I think, are extremely important as well and can complement actually the medications that we prescribe, uh, including physical therapy. Um, but one has to be very careful with the type of physical therapy. Traditionally, uh, in physical therapy, if you think from a sports medicine or orthopedic point of view, a lot of times uh, patients are getting isometric, isokinetic treatments. Um, that can worsen, actually, stiff persons, uh, and it can increase their spasms um, and increase their flares that they experience. So what I will recommend physical therapists doing is sort of non-traditional PT interventions like deep uh, tissue myofascial techniques, ultrasound therapy. Um, they're very good at doing heat therapy, which that can help as well. Um, and some passive range of motion uh, often can help. Another thing that I've found, at least in my practice, is aqua therapy. So getting patients into a nice warm pool, which is extremely important because cold can exacerbate uh, the symptoms of person syndrome, but that will help actually people be able to move more freely uh, in that environment. And the reason being is when you're in the pool, there's no gravity. So you're actually able to move pretty freely. Uh, and the warmer the temperature, the better. So I have some of my patients that will jump in the hot tub when they're having a particularly tough day that actually can loosen up the muscles. There's a number of other not well-researched areas, um, but I have found that can help uh, patients with stiff person syndrome, acupuncture being one of them. So some of my patients will do acupuncture for their chronic pain, and that can sometimes help. It can also help with spasticity. Um, I've had others uh, do uh, Reiki therapy um, and a number of other sort of more Eastern uh, type of interventions. And, you know, what I've learned throughout the years in treating patients with stiff person syndrome, really it's not one modality of treatment. You really have to look at the whole person, incorporate a bunch of different treatment interventions, both pharmacological and non-pharmacological, to improve their well-being and their quality of life.